I'm Gaz, and this is Let's Play Postmaster. This is an advanced review copy that I was sent by the publisher, so thanks for that. And this is basically a transportation business simulation game, where we run a postal company. So I'm going to start a new game, and I'm going to try easy, because I'm not really sure what I'm doing yet. Go ahead and set up my profile. And we'll call the company... Gazak, sure. Okay. So, let's pick a logo here. I do kind of like that one for some reason. Uh, let's go with this one. And we'll set our color to red, because red goes faster. Okay. So, we start out here in a little town, and it is one of three, and I'm not really sure if they are meant to be separate towns or just sort of like boroughs or neighborhoods or something. Anyway, we have a sort of residential suburban area over here, and then over here we have sort of the computer's territory. And I guess the main goal of the game is to beat the computer into submission and form a monopoly on all the postal service in this region. So. We need to start out here by selecting our post office, and this opens up the office where we can hire employees as well as buy certain amenities that will give us some bonuses. Uh, I'm going to start out with a receiving staff and a sorter so that we can get packages ready for delivery. Uh, the security guard is useful because your office can get robbed and it is quite expensive. It costs you not only in, I guess, dollars but also stars. I'll talk about that in a minute. So even though they are quite a bit more expensive, I think it's worth getting at least one. Well, you can only get the one, but... Anyway, next we need to go to the garage, and this is where we will buy some vehicles. So... Uh, we start out with a bicycle and a basket, which is not very good. Um, these other vehicles are locked, and we unlock them with these stars. Same thing with the various amenities in the office. You need to first unlock them and then you can purchase them. So we could get the motorbike here, uh, but I think I'm going to blow all of my stars to get the first standard car. That way I don't have to worry about upgrading and we can handle a lot more mail. Now the trade-off is that it will require more fuel consumption so the expense might go up. However, it does hold four times as much cargo, and uh, it's actually not faster, believe it or not. They are the same speed. But uh, another difference is that the vehicles have a limitation on the number of blocks that they can go and collect from. So we can collect a few more with the car than we can with a motorbike. So I'm going to unlock that, and then buy one, and I'll go ahead and buy a second one. So, first we need to create one that will go and pick up letters and packages. So, over here in the menu, coming to change the vehicle type, and I want this to be a letter delivery vehicle. So, we get these flashing things here. We need to add a path, or a uh, carrier route, basically, and then set its schedule. So, add a path and this opens up the range that our current office has. Now this is a medium-sized office, so it can go two blocks away. And if I hold over here, you can see that I can have up to eight different blocks on my current route, and it shows which each block has in letters and packages and postcards, as well as the demand for mail. Uh, these little towers here indicate how much of each of the different uh, cargo they produce. So these guys produce a lot of letters up here. And uh, the commercial buildings down here, like this one, produce packages. So it would definitely be a good idea to add these ones to the route. And I think I'll go ahead and... Well, wait a minute, let's undo that. I'm not really sure how the pathfinding works in this game. I assume that it goes from the first one you click and then goes through all of the others, but observing how things go, uh, it doesn't really look 
like that's the case. The computer just sort of goes off on its own, circles the block a few times, and uh, it's kind of kind of weird. Anyway, I want to add these two to the root. I want to then come over here, add that one. We'll come down into the commercial sector here, and uh, let's see. I definitely want to leave some. Well, this is only letter delivery. We're going to have to create another vehicle if I want packages, so I, I shouldn't even be worrying about that right now. Uh, let's see, we'll come over here, pick up this one, this one, and I've got three more, so I guess we'll go this one, this one, and this one. And then... Uh, no, actually, let's go this one. There we go. And then we'll just click on this, and so that'll set up the route. So we need to click on this again and set its schedule. I'm going to set this to once at the shift, beginning and middle. So it should go out two times a day. Uh, you can set it to go instantly, which I believe means just whenever there's something to go get, but uh, you have to worry about the fuel economy because that is a, an expense uh, when you've got things going. So you don't really want them running all the time, at least early on. Now. This is just delivering the mail. This is just stuff that is brought into the office. We now need to go and collect packages. And before we can do that, we actually have to set up some post boxes. So let's come out of here, come over to this menu, click on the Manage Post Boxes. Okay, so probably going to just put down as many post boxes as I had on my previous route. But this time I, I will keep in mind the packets uh, because that is another important thing. But I will put one here, one here, um, put one here, put one there, let's see. Put one here, 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 and where's my fourth one gonna go? I guess this one is kind of rising on all of them here, but uh, yeah, okay. So that should be full root there. Let's click this again, and that saves the changes. Come back in here, and now I need this to be a post box collector. So I'll set this path here, 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 there. Okay, and I will have this go out beginning and middle of a shift as well. All right, so next what we need to do, or what we should do, is set an advertisement in place. So this will help us and uh, early on we'll get some business and we can get some stars from it as well. Oh, cost stars, sorry. Can't do that because I spent them all on my vehicles. Well, whatever, anyway. Uh, let's go ahead and just set things to go here. And we'll actually set it to fast speed because we want this to hurry up and since we're only going two times a shift, we actually have to wait until the shift starts. So there he goes, and he's spinning around. Slow this down so we can see. 75% uh, done on the, the route, it looks like. Now, over here, we can click these little show and hide icons, which will uh, indicate the various demands for each of the things that we have. Right now, there's not a lot. We've got a little bit of demand for the, uh, looks like, incoming letters. Uh, eventually, though, as we sort of make a name for ourselves here in town, these will fill up very quickly. Okay, so let's get that going to... No, maybe not that fast. Okay. So you can see here that I've got 17 letters being brought into the office awaiting delivery. That's okay. There should be a person. Yeah, one person. So this one guy on each side is doing all right. We don't have to worry too much about an overflow. Uh, now, we don't just have to focus on the one office. We can buy another one. I'm not sure I really want to do that right now. We do have a few good locations, though. Especially over here in the industrial sector when we've got some packets. It is on the edge of town, though, so if we buy it, we can only get these little areas right here unless we buy the more expensive medium area. Uh, I don't really want to do that right now. I could come all the way down here and buy one in the residential area, and this would actually be rather good because there's a lot more postcards and letters being created.
created down there. Um, the thing is though that we also will want to connect our post offices so that we're transferring the uh, packages and letters between them and obviously the further away the offices are from each other the more expensive that is going to be in, in terms of fuel. So I'm just going to wait here for a while. Go ahead and speed that up again. It's only 10 o'clock so we need to await the next shift. Got quite a few letters open for delivery here. Uh, and here, here we see the post boxes are in fact filling up. So uh, it's not too many. My yeah, we do have enough room in my cars to take them all, so that's okay. Uh, if we'd had the motorbike, we might not have been able to get all of them. But uh, that's it for this day because I'm only having it go twice a day. I could change the shift, and especially when these fill up a bit more, these are filling up actually quite fast out here. Maybe I will want to change the collection shifts to be a little bit more frequent. Um, we don't have any right now it looks like, but occasionally there will be sort of these priority emergency deliveries uh, that we can get bonuses for if we do them on time. We need a special vehicle for that, or at least we need to set the vehicle a special task to specifically focus on that. That is an expense that I'm not really willing to make right now. We're almost done with the first day though. So we can see how much this has all cost me. A little bit faster. This is one of the things that I noticed early on in the game. It sort of does drag a little bit as you're waiting for the day to flip over and uh, the schedules to go. So maybe just in the interests of uh, keeping everything flowing, I should just make the schedule set to instant so they're always going out constantly and just see what that does. Um, okay, so this little thing over here flashing shows the missions and these missions are basically various things that you can do in the game that will give you bonus stars. So because we reached 500 reputation on that first day, I get three bonus stars. So I can use that. Uh, other ones to get early on are buying three vehicles. I could buy another one to do that. I could also hire two more employees. And that would give me nine, so I could do a lot of stuff with that. Let's see. If I go in here, I can get a water cooler. And uh, this will help with the morale bonus for the staff. It does come with a maintenance cost, though. I'm not sure if I want to spend all of that on... Uh, on that right now. Okay, now this is important actually. Uh, having this car service area, eventually your vehicles will break down and when they do you can pay to have them repaired but if you have one of these uh, service areas you can have that done automatically. But it, it only costs one star but it is quite expensive and it does have a huge maintenance cost so maybe we'll hold off on that. Actually what I wanted to check was my statistics. So that one day I made a very very small amount of profit. Um, fortunately that was profit though. I did make money despite that huge expense at the beginning. Here we can see my statistics in comparison to the computer. I have a lot more money but they also have a lot more business than me. And so this is something I'm going to have to keep an eye on. I mean they, look how many post boxes they have. Good grief. So I should definitely uh, consider expanding to another office, actually. Sadly, the layout here did not really develop in such a way that I can uh, maximize a lot of good space. I could put one down here. There is a lot, a lot of letters down here. Hmm. If I only buy the small one, though, that's only going to cover a little bit. Okay, if I buy the big one, it'll also take some of this industrial. It's not too expensive. Let me come back down here and just see. Because this would be the best one. And actually, buying a medium, for some reason, even though we're covering more blocks here, the medium office down here would cost less than the one over here. 
That doesn't make a lot of sense to me. I was under the impression that this cost corresponded to how many blocks it covered, but uh, what do I know? Okay, well maybe, maybe I should consider this one, but again, that's a huge expense traveling back and forth, so let's go ahead and put this one down here. It's a lot of letter traffic that we can get. I'll go ahead and drop the expense on, uh, on that. Actually, what I should do is just focus on getting this. Uh, I can focus on expanding my package delivery. Although we don't have a lot of packages over here. Um, boy, I don't know. Again, I'm not really familiar with this game yet. I just played it for a few hours after getting the uh, download key. So maybe I should just focus on this because I'm more familiar with what's going on delivering letters and post boxes. And it's cheaper. So, uh, yeah, we can do that. Okay, so now we need to set this one up too. Let's uh, get that set. So this one actually, because there's so much letter traffic, we might actually... Oops, that's not the one I want to check. Well, anyway, uh, we might actually want to get two instead of the one. But uh, you know what? We'll see how well this does. We'll also hire one of him. Uh, we need to hire two more vehicles, or buy two more vehicles, rather. And this is where we're going to need another vehicle for the transfer. Now, I think I will have that be over here. And I'll sort of have this as the main office. And this one, I think I can afford to just have this be the motorbike. That's a lot less packaging, but it didn't seem like we had a lot extra. So I'll go ahead and unlock this and buy it. And I'll set its vehicle task to post transfer. Uh, we're not ready yet to set that up. Come back down here. Okay, so I've got these two. I need you to be letter delivery. And uh, let's see, what would be a good... Well, I guess just around here, although... Maybe if I took a, a lower section, like down this way, because there are some packages down here I can see. There's a lot of postcard delivery, but I don't... Th I mean, these are what they produce. This is not the demand. So, uh, maybe that doesn't matter so much. Let's just go around that way. We'll set you to be both the beginning and the end. And this one, we are going to have to set up some post boxes. So, again, we're going to have to pay for this. Definitely want one there, what with all that. Uh, this is a big one. Let me see. That's another one. That's one. Okay. We don't have to have eight. I mean, it is kind of an expense to have that many, but uh, we might. This one's got some good package in there. We'll go uh, this one, this one, and how about this one? Okay, good enough. So, collection. Set a route. There, there. Okay, set that to be ones at the beginning and the end. All right, so now come back over here and click this little link so that we can link this up to this office. And that'll work there. I then need to come back here and I will set the schedule for this motorbike to, uh, to be afternoon and I'll say once at the beginning of the shift. Uh, the post office will close at uh, 1600, so I'll just have them transfer the mail at night once we've collected everything, and uh, we'll see how that works. Well, yeah, I, I guess. I mean, I didn't have it going on a shift. Hmm, that's kind of interesting. Okay, well, anyway, now let's get this going and see how well we do here. Oh, good. I have another post office in another city. That gives me ten bonus stars. Uh, this should also give me five workers. 
and the three vehicles. So now I have a ton of bonus stars. That's great. Um, yes, now the advertisement, which I had neglected to do, actually. Um, well, let's see. We can... Let's just do the leaflets, I guess. Now that goes for uh, nine days. So we can't get another one until then. Okay, we've already got 32 waiting for transfer. If that goes over 100, I will have to get a better vehicle for it. Those are filling up. That's okay. How are these ones? Oh, that one's already full. That one is completely full. I may need to upgrade the post box here. In fact, let's go ahead and do that. Let's manage the post boxes. Um, go ahead and just upgrade this post box. You may lose some letters if you use a smaller box. Right, well, we don't have to worry about that. Okay. So... We have a lot more capacity there, but that's not necessarily a good thing. I mean, that's not necessarily going to help me because my cars might not be able to hold that much. We have 159 waiting for uh, delivery, and then 42 waiting for the sorter. I may need to get another sorter. I guess I underestimated how many letters we were going to get there. We've also got 20 here waiting for the sorter. Um... Okay, I guess we'll go ahead and get another sorter. Well, actually, let's see if we can clear this out on the next day, since we're almost at the end here. We'll see what my expense is. Okay, test this out, and yeah, I lost a bunch of money setting up that second office, but that's okay. Reputation slightly went up. How many letters were we putting out, though? Wow, they've, they're have they tearing away from me in reputation, and uh, they're building their money where as I am not. So I definitely want to stop building and uh, buying vehicles, because that is a huge expense. We are now comparable with the post box count, though, so that's good. Okay. Well, let's see. Beginning of the shift here. If we can move all of those... Oh, oh, good God. Look at that. Look how many people are in here. Okay. Well, that settles that. We'll go ahead and hire a few more people. We don't want them to wait. Same here, I think. I'll have to start considering some amenities here. Now, let's see. The vending machine helps out the customer satisfaction. Um, what is cheaper? I guess the TV... Well, let's not worry about that right now. Okay. So let's get that going again. Boy, that, that's a lot of stuff there. What did I achieve this time? Ten workers. Five-star bonus. Okay. Well, we've sorted all the mail. Got a bit of it waiting to be taken out. Uh, post boxes are still filling up. I've only got 34 waiting for transfer, so the motorbike seems to be... Okay, well, now it's definitely filling up because I just went and collected. Uh, that... Even though that arrow is pointing one way, I believe it is, in fact, a two-way transfer. Oh, wow. We have got a ton of stuff here. And look how many customers. As opposed to the other office, there were just a bunch here waiting to be served. And uh, we've already got 81 after the shift ended. Oh, man. There is there is a lot more here than I was expecting. Yeah, the demand for the letters incoming is a bit higher. So I might, in fact, want to change some of my scheduling down there, at least. Over here, it's not such a big deal. Maybe the pickup I can change. Um, we've still got 59 letters extra over here, though. Hmm. Okay, well, let's just go to the end of the day again and see if we did better than yesterday after that huge expense. Slowly, slowly. I mean, I guess it goes through the entire day because you can get those nightly shifts, so you might need the whole day 
for it to run, but I kind of wish there was a way to just skip to uh, the end of the day if you didn't have anything else scheduled. Because otherwise you're just sort of sitting here waiting. We're also coming up to the weekend, it looks like. When we do not have anything going on, our office will close down. Uh, holidays, however, uh, apparently bring in an influx of activity because everyone is mailing things. Okay, we didn't actually... We, we lost a little bit of money. We made some and then as soon as the day started, we lost some. Our reputation keeps going up though. So yeah, we're doing much better. Uh, we're still not nearly where the computer is and they are starting to overtake us in money. Um, right, well, this might uh, not go so well. We've got way more people than them. That's interesting to me that they're doing so well even though they've only got the one office and four people. Um, hmm. Well, that might be interesting. My god, look at that. Yeah, I'll definitely have to change, I think, probably the delivery. Because the, the post boxes themselves seem kind of empty. It's the ex excess letters that we need to worry about. So I'll, I'll change the delivery schedule here and the pickup schedule out here. But uh, I'm not going to do that now, actually. I'm going to end this one here, and I'll see you next time.